Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on scanning our requirements.txt file for all packages that we are currently not using within our application. So packages that are unused. Now this is a very helpful tool to ensure that we have a clean project in terms of knowing which packages we are using in our Django project and which packages we are not using. And this has many benefits as we can see with this um, scan package here. As we scroll down, we can see some of the benefits that are bringing up to us including saving money, speeding up, using resources more wisely, easier maintenance, uh, better focus at work, update efficiency, staying safe, legal, work together and code better as we can see. So what we can do is go ahead and first of all ensure that we have a Django project. So as we can see I have a simple one here um, available. Now what I want to do is first of all head on over to my CMD and I want to first of all just type in pip and list. So this is going to list out all of the packages currently within your virtual environment. So make sure you're in your virtual environment. So if I scroll to the top, make sure you're, you're within your virtual environment when you run pip list. So you can see all of the packages that are within your Django project. So as you can see, I have a lot of packages here. So let's clear that up. So the next thing that you want to do is you just want to create a requirements.txt file. Now the reason for that is in order to scan all the packages, we need to have a requirements.txt file. So this package, um, which is scan um, rec, I believe, is going to scan through our requirements.txt file for all of the unused packages that we have. So what you want to do first of all is create a requirements.txt file. So you can do that by saying pip freeze greater than requirements.txt. And that's going to generate a requirements.txt file for us. So if we head on back to our project directory, we can see now we have a requirements.txt file that lists all of the packages that we have installed within our Django project. Okay, so all of them that we've installed. Whether we use it or we don't use it, those that are within our project as of this moment. The next thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and scroll through the documentation available here. And you want to paste in the following command as is here. Just make sure that you go ahead and ensure that you have a requirements.txt file in your um, base directory right here or else this command is not going to work. So what you're going to do now is you're going to copy the following command and you can head on to your terminal paste it in as is and press enter. Now it's going to take a moment while the scan rec package is going to scan all of the unused packages within our Django application. You can see here the module uh, as well as the package that it pertains to. It's going to scan through all of them. Now it may take a moment to do so because it all depends on how many packages you have within your Django project and how many, package, how many of those packages are unused. In other words, you haven't configured them, you haven't used them at all in your Django application. It's going to scan through all of them. Now the really cool thing is that once it has scanned through all of them it's going to create an unused dash requirements.txt file that's going to show you all of those packages which are unused so that you can have a better idea of what to remove and what to take out. Now as you can see I have 43 unused packages here so that is the statement and if you look at the command carefully if I were to just scroll up you can see with this command that it creates an unused dash requirements.txt file. So what you can do is you can head on over to your directory and you can now see you have an unused dash requirements.txt file and that's going to list all of the packages that are unused within your application. So you have a, a better idea here to see, okay, this is unused. So essentially what you could do then is you can go ahead and head on to your requirements.txt file and you can compare what you have used and what you have not used. So essentially, let's say we have a few packages here or a package like Django filter, for example. You can see in your requirements.txt file that you have Django filter and you can just remove this and delete it. So it will be very helpful if you compare both of these requirements.txt files to see what is unused and the requirements.txt file will show everything and you can just remove the packages from your requirements.txt file that are stipulated in your unused requirements.txt file. So you can compare the two and just see what is being used and what 
isn't being used. Now there are more things that you can do with the uh, this package in terms of um, looking at the help guide here. Just to read a little bit more about how you can set everything up and what all of the parameters stand for and all of the constraints and how you can change the output and how you can change the location, etc. So there are some more things that you can go ahead and browse through as you work through the package. But that's it guys for this video tutorial on how we can scan through all of our packages in our requirements.txt file and just make a list of all of the unused packages that we are not using with our, our application. So that's it guys and as always thank you so much for the support and I'll see you next time. Bye!